Okay, for the banded crossover pull, I'm gonna take a long band and I'm gonna strap it to the top of a squat rack or a pull-up bar. And then I'm gonna feed it through the loop so it ties securely. I wanna keep the band a little bit away from my body. And I'm going to stand perpendicular with the band and I'm gonna bend my knees slightly and tuck my tailbone so I can get that pelvic lock position so the glutes are gonna support. The whole idea is to only rotate from the ribs and the arms in this exercise. I'm gonna be doing a pull down motion at about a 45 degree angle. The angle can differentiate a little bit because of the uh, height that you may have the band tied to. That's okay. I just want to keep it away or position myself so that when I cross over with the pull that it doesn't hit my shoulder. I want to be able to move freely. As I grab the band, sometimes it helps to open up the hands, especially if you have any wrist issues. I want to rev my knuckles a little bit and keep my wrist very, very strong. Extending my arms out and packing my shoulders, I'm going to pull the band down as I counter rotate my hips forward. So my hips don't move and you're going to feel a lot of tension down here in the abdominal and oblique area. Exhale when you twist. Keep the wrists and hands strong. As I come up, I don't let all the tension off the band. I keep some tension so I'm active throughout the whole process. Exhaling as I twist to let the air out. Remember, you don't want to move the hips. I'm not looking to do this. If my hips are moving, then that becomes a shoulder exercise or a, I might even put my low back in a bit of a compromised position. So, knees bent, tailbone tuck. Squeeze the glutes, the belly, and the pelvic floor so the abs are, and the core muscles are engaged. Keep the band away from your shoulder.